Hey guys, Anthony Jones here with the Top Gun John Boat, Athens GA, and this video is all about how I did my hidden hinge install and my John Boat to Bass Boat conversion. Um, let me say before we get too far ahead, if you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm going to be pumping out content on this build, um, some walkthroughs of how I'm doing, what I'm doing. So stay tuned, click the notification button, and it will notify you whenever I upload a new video. I'm going to be pumping this stuff out as I try to finish this boat. Um, also, follow me on Instagram, guys. Um, uh, on Instagram, I post pictures of the build. It may help you out, get detailed pictures of what I'm up to on the John Boat conversion. That is at Adub Jones. Tiny Boat Nation on Facebook. If you're new to the John Boat game, you need to go to Facebook right now and go to Tiny Boat Nation and join the group. There's tons of great content on there, man. These guys are cranking out some awesome builds. I'm not the only one doing it. Um, this video is to help you guys. So with that being said, uh, Michael Lopez, Fire Ant Fishing, check those guys out. Man, they helped me a lot with videos um, that they put out when I was first getting started on my boat. And so that's what this video is about. So I'm going to tell you, hopefully you can take something away from it and utilize the techniques that I'm doing in this video. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm an expert and I'm not going to tell you that what I'm doing is the greatest way in the world. So take what you can away from it. And if you could spend some things and change some things, everybody's boats a little bit differently. Everybody's fabricating a little bit differently. So all I want to tell you is take what you can away from this hinge install video because there's some things I would have liked to have done a little bit differently. And I'm not going to sit here and say that the way I did it was the best way. I wanted to hide my hinges and I ran into some issues by doing that with quarter inch plywood that I used to save on my weight for my decking system. So um, with that being said, here's the video guys. Again, click that subscribe button and thank you, enjoy. What we've got here is a hatch for my boat and this is a very small hatch. This framework, even though it's upside down, this framework is the framework that's gonna surround this hatch. Okay, this hatch goes over here. Just showing you guys this because this is the smallest hatch that I've got. It's going to go right in here. It's the smallest hatch that I've got in my boat. Okay, everything else is pretty big. So I'm using this as a demo to show you guys how I'm going to do my hinge work. I've had some questions on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, um, asking me about my hinges. So here it goes. I'm going to be very blunt with you guys because there's some things I'm doing that... Um, I'm not 100% sure on. I'm just going to be honest with you. This may be trial and error. I think it's going to work out fine, but I'm not by any means. I don't want you guys to think that I'm telling you this is the best way or the right way or anything like that. I'm going to explain how I got to this point and why I'm using what I'm using. It's probably not the best way. It's probably not the strongest way, but it's the way that I'm going to do it to hide my hinges. I do not want hinges. I love the look that I've got here of this. And I absolutely love the look of what I've got up here with this. Okay, I like everything. I like everything how it looks, man. I just don't want hinges all over my deck, okay? Um, I am OCD. So I want to hide my hinges. I could not get a piano hinge. I could not get... I've tried a lot of things, guys. And the reason why I am where I am is because, if you'll notice, this is quarter-inch plywood. Everything in my boat is quarter inch plywood decking. If you watch my live well video or live well videos, because there's a one and two, I demonstrated and I showed you how I did all the framework in the rear end of this boat. My decking is solely relied upon uh, the structural strength of my decking is, is on the framing. It is not on the decking. Okay. I'm not using the decking for strength. So when you stand in my boat, you're not relying on the plywood for strength. You're relying on all the framework. That's how I built my boat. That's how I fabricated it. I use quarter inch to save weight, okay? Quarter inch sheet of plywood as opposed to five eighths or three quarter inch, I'm using a third of the wood, okay? And with it not treated and painting it in oil-based, I'm saving even more weight. Have you guys ever lifted a sheet of treated wood? So anyhow, back to where I was. <laughs> Thanks for letting me share that little bit of a rant, but... The quarter inch caused me an issue with my hinges, how I want to hide them. It would not be an issue if I simply took this hinge and took it over here and laid it down like so and screwed it into my decking. That would not be an issue. 
But for me to hide this hinge how I want in, in between my framework, like so, okay, that looks easy. But it's really, really not because I'm dealing with quarter inch wood and it's going to be hard to drill the holes and it's going to be hard to line everything up. And I had a really, really hard time sourcing hardware. So again, I'm going to be very blunt with what I'm using. I'm not saying this is the greatest way. I'm simply showing you guys how I'm doing it because a lot of people have asked me about this portion of my build. These, my friends, are, um, I'm going to show you here. They're an inch open. Okay, see that two to three? They're an inch open. They're a half inch closed. Okay, half inch closed, that's okay. I've got quarter inch plywood plus carpet on the top plus carpet underneath where I wrap it. Okay, so that's right at half an inch. Quarter inch plywood, eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. I'm sorry. Quarter inch plywood, eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. Right at half an inch. So, so in theory, what I'm going to do is I've got this bad boy clamped down. I'm going to counter, uh, not counter, pilot hole, two holes, okay, through here. All right, like that, very, very carefully. I marked with painter's tape exactly where I want my hinge, two inches in. And I'm going to very carefully drill a couple pilot holes, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hinge and I'm going to, I'm going to fill those holes up with some, um, gorilla construction adhesive okay and then i'm going to screw some screws into those holes and attach this hinge okay it's got to be perfect all right so i'm going to take my time now with these hinges i couldn't find stainless all right so it is what it is my boat's garage kept yes it's going to get wet yes it's going to get rained on yes these probably will rust yes i've painted them in a flat oil based paint I will see how that holds up. I talked to Fire Ant Fishing. He did it on his build. He uses his boat a lot. And um, he did mount his hinges on the top of his carpet. And he said that he has seen some wear on the paint. Um, so that very well uh, may be the case for me as well. But I'm mounting mine a little bit differently. So it may not be. This may be trial and error, guys. So um, let me show you the one thing. That's a big deal was you see those grooves. You see how that is. I took every one of these hinges and that's, that's only a few of them, every one for the boat. And I took them um, to work where I have a drill press and I drilled every one of these out because when they come, they come just like that. They just have a hole. All right. So I very, very carefully drilled every one of these holes out. See how that looks. Okay, so see how I did that? Boom. It's closed. See how that's closed? It closes all the way. So because I did the countersink, the drill bit to where that screw, see? So that screw head will sit down in there real, real, real flush, as flush as I can get it real tight. That allows me the ability to hide these hinges and squeeze these hinges and sandwich them in between everything on my boat and they are still able to close look at that all right if i did not do that they would not be able to close all the way they would actually be like this because the screw heads would be hitting each other because they would not be able to accept these screws i looked around for a long time trying to find a screw that did not have this that did not have that tapering but all screws do for the most part i mean that's what secures <laughs> The things you're screwing into place i mean you got to have that kind of a head and so i look long and hard and this is what i came up with guys so it's been a lot of work to individually bore each one of these out but that's going to allow me to take these ordinary hinges and sandwich them in between all of my hatches on my boat and you're just going to see this this portion here and then like i said i'm going to paint that like so and hopefully it's going to blend in really really well and sit flush with the carpet um, because the, these being half of an inch is going to be right at the same diameter as this. So I'm going to show you how we do this. So this is the bit I'm running with. Um, I'm using a 332nd bit. Okay. And the other thing that I did was the screws that I'm using, because I don't want this stuff to tweak. I'm using inch screws. Number six, one inch stainless steel. Okay. 
I put my bit in and I actually set it to the depth of my screw head. Okay, so I'm only going to drill in. I've already drilled the hole. You can't see it. But I'm only drilling in as deep as my screw is going to go. And then what I'm going to do is, I kind of showed you on this. I'm going to coat this thing in a bunch of, uh, of Gorilla Goo Glue construction adhesive. And hopefully this will help hold it in place when it gets in and uh, make it stronger. And then also seal up that hole um, to prevent any kind of wood rot. Again, not guaranteeing this is this is uh, going to work. This is just my attempt at doing it. I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to take my time. But, um, you know, just, just showing you guys how I'm doing it. Just want to show you as I'm screwing this head in, you can see that glue. How that glue is uh, coming up. And um, I, I like what I see. I just took the screw and I coated it all real good with a Gorilla Glue. I didn't go crazy. I just filled in all the grooves. And as I'm screwing that in, all that excess is coming up through the hole. And that's telling me that hole is filled and it's going to have a good tight bond. And when I screw this in, it might even make a nice little uh, seal around um, the screw head and uh, where this hinge is. So I just want to show you that real quick. Okay, so that's that. I've got this mounted in place. Again, all I did was use this, drill a pilot hole, use this drill to take my stainless steel screws that are coated in the adhesive, and I very, very carefully drilled them in. Um, you can see um, I've got a nice little bead of uh, adhesive around the screw head, and it's uh, really tight and secure. So um, I'm going to install the other one and then work on get, getting the hatch attached to this other side of these hinges. Quick tip, I forgot to mention, I like to take um, some kind of screwdriver. My other one was somewhere else in here I was working on, so I've got this little, this little kit. I like to take my little screwdriver, and I like to hand tighten everything. Because when you got a hand tool, you could uh, really feel the torque. Um, I would beware of trying to torque, torque it down with your drill in this case, because it may strip it out. So what I'm doing is I'm easing these screws down pretty snug with the drill very slowly and carefully. And then I'm coming back with my hand screwdriver and I'm just torquing them down by hand because the last thing I want to do is strip out these holes um, and have that screw start spinning because then it'll just pull right out. So um, that's just a little tip for you guys. Okay, I've got the, uh, got the hinges attached to the frame section that's going to surround the hatch. And now I'm just clamping everything together and, again, taking my time, making sure everything is lined up perfectly. And what I'm going to do is clamp these together, and then I'm going to screw my hinge, or uh, screw my holes and attach my hatch to my hinge here, and then and then down here. And um, hopefully everything's going to line up and uh, it'll work out fine. Um, but this is where I'm at. Okay, got the piece uh, installed. Got everything installed, guys. I think it, I think it turned out really, really well. Um, there is your hinge, my friends. If you could see that, that's crazy, man. That's really cool. I'm really excited about this. Um, there's your other one. The paint blends in perfectly. Um, the fitment is tight. Jam up, jelly tight, is my. Uncle Rob would say. Uh, I like the flush pull latch. I got that installed. And uh, you can see. You can see the hinge there. And you can see the hinge there. This compartment I just kind of framed out of one buys. In case you guys were wondering. And uh, it's just going to be an area for me to throw maybe some uh, plastic, some bait. Some bait bags or whatnot, um, or uh, actually put my pole light in here as well. Maybe uh, some parts for my rod holder contraption and whatnot. So anyhow, it's just extra storage. Um, and uh, so this is a small hatch, but uh, it goes up and down and it works great and it's all tight. Um, I, I don't slam these. I'm just letting y'all know because I don't I don't want to break them. They are plastic. So that's how I close them. But this is super tight. Everything's tight. It all came out really nice. Again, I just had some patience and took my time on it. 
So uh, I don't think I left anything out. The only thing I would recommend is you can't see my screws. All this stuff screwed in. I use, uh, I think I showed in another video, I use some, uh, some decking screws and um, I spray paint those the same color as the carpet to hide those. Got that trick from Michael Lopez. Um, I know he does that with his staples. Uh, so, so anyhow, I would recommend where, where your hinge is to put a uh, put a screw in through the wood behind your hinge because that's the area that's going to get stress from this thing going up and down. Um, but guys, it's it's working great, and uh, I will let you know long term after I abuse this boat, which uh, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it this summer. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I'm just wide open at work, and I've got a lot of things going on uh, personally within my life. All good things, um, but uh, it's taking a lot of time away from this boat. So uh, when, when I do get this thing on the water and beat it down, I will let you guys know what I would do differently, what I would change, or how it all works out. So... Um, you know, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with there. And, uh, I got to do the rear. I'll let you know how that goes. The, uh, I'm not concerned about really any of these hatches. Um, the one that I may use more hinges on is this one. This is for, this is for my live well. I will show you guys this. I've got the, uh, the seat pedestal bracket molded into the underside of this hatch. That way it's hidden. I'm big on hiding things. And so, uh, as you can see, so, um, that, that hatch is a little heavier, uh, but it's still quarter inch plywood. Uh, so we're going to see how it all goes. I will let you guys all know about that. And then, of course, uh, I do need to do the front. There's a total of one, two, three, four, four hatch, five hatches up front. We got junk covering the boat. But um, anyhow, guys, give me a like, subscribe. If you like the content, give me a subscribe, guys. I'm trying to build my channel. Um, trying to produce uh content on this build and hopefully in the future uh maybe more builds or a rebuild who knows uh i've taken long enough on this boat so maybe it's time to do another project once this is finished um follow me on instagram and uh guys leave a comment and let me know what you think about this uh and what you what you would do differently maybe or if you utilize any of these techniques uh you know what you think so Thanks, guys.